What happened to Yui from High Bridge? Never had no doubt if I'm gonna make it or no poly Cause I ain't dummy raw, you e o Lottie. We smoking dead people What? That's Benji, Benji. Yui. Yui And Diddy In July of 2016, Raul Simmons' Aka Yui was killed by a member from RPT known as Cream Hound Cream Hound can be seen in the throwback RPT freestyle videos posted on Mike Jr. TV via TikTok there is a follow-up video on Cream Hound on YouTube called What Happened to Cream Hound by me. At the time of the murder, an article was published stating two people are under arrest after a deadly shooting in the Bronx that was immediately followed by a crash involving a police cruiser. Police say 24-year-old Earl Simmons, a Bronx native, was shot in the head just before 2 a.m. Saturday. The shooting happened on Anderson Avenue near Yankee Stadium. First I heard one shot, then two in the same time, quick. And then I heard people running and crying, and I never came out, said Junior Alberto. Simmons was pronounced dead at Lincoln Hospital. The family members came around here to see what happened. It was just rough for them, added Alberto. Investigators say three men who they believe are connected to the shooting fled the scene in a gray sedan. The sedan crashed into a police car just a few blocks from where the shooting took place. The police car was T-boned, and two officers were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The three men in the sedan made a run for it, but were ultimately taken into custody. Two of those men were placed under arrest. Investigators say a weapon was found in the car. The injured officers are expected to be okay. Jeanette Ferrer, 25, who knew Simmons since childhood, says she was shocked to hear of his violent death. He was full of life, always happy, she said. He was a good person, didn't bother nobody and never looking for trouble. Ferrer says Simmons lived simply, helping elderly women carry their groceries when he wasn't enjoying his time with friends or listening to the music of neighborhood rapper A Boogie. He never liked drama. That's why it's so shocking that this happened to him, she said. This made everyone's heart hurt. There was no reason to suspect he would have been involved in anything that would have got him killed. Not him. He was innocent. Ferrer who lives near where the gunfire erupted, says she no longer feels safe in the neighborhood. This neighborhood is going downhill, she said. I need to get my grandmother out of here.